Meet the RoboMaster S1, the smart educational robot that opens up a whole new world of learning. Experience fast-paced driving action, whether you're by yourself or with a friend. Something in the way? Check this out. With the Mechanum wheels, your movement options are limitless. From the brushless motor to the front axle suspension, every inch of the S1 is jam-packed with advanced technologies. With the included interactive curriculum, anyone can learn how to code. Teach it to move, recognize shapes, and a whole lot more. Apply math and physics and take your S1 to the next level. On the battlefield, dominate your competition with the infrared beam. Use mystery bonus abilities to get an edge, like this. And if that's not enough, experience real rapid-fire action with the Gel Bead Blaster. Pressure-sensitive sensors let the S1 feel every impact. In a tight spot? No problem. Outwit your foe by coding a custom move. And when you've run out of opponents in your backyard, you just might be ready for DJI RoboMaster, the world's toughest international robotics competition. With the RoboMaster S1, Education and entertainment become one and the same. So power up and learn to win. There are two ways to connect the S1 to the RoboMaster app. Connection via Wi-Fi and connection via router. Connection via Wi-Fi. Power on the S1. Then, open the RoboMaster app. Tap the Connect button on the top right of the screen. Choose Connection via Wi-Fi. Slide the Connection Mode button on the Intelligent Controller to the left to switch the S1 to Connection via Wi-Fi mode. Go to the Settings page and connect your mobile device to the S1's Wi-Fi. The robot's Wi-Fi SSID and initial password information can be found on the Intelligent Controller. After completing this step, the S1 should be connected to the app. Connection via Router Connecting to the S1 via router allows users to participate in free-for-all battle with a wider range of signal coverage. Launch the RoboMaster app. Tap the Connect button on the top right of the screen. Choose Connection via Router. Go to System Settings page and connect to the local area network. After the network is connected, go back to the app. Input the LAN password and then a QR code will be generated. Slide the Connection Mode button on the Intelligent Controller to the right. Press the Connect button. When you hear scan the QR code from the app, hold the QR code provided by the app in front of the S1 camera so that it can be scanned. You can move your mobile device away when you hear connecting. 
When the armor LED glows blue and an alert on the app pops up with connected, your mobile device is connected to the S1. Changing the Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. Ensure your mobile device is connected to the S1 via Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi information can be changed by going to Settings and then Connect in the app. Tap OK to confirm. Restart the S1 and connect your mobile device to it with the new Wi-Fi SSID and password. Resetting the S1's Wi-Fi. Slide the Connection Mode button to the left. Press and hold the Connect button for 5 seconds. You can stop pressing the button when you hear Wi-Fi reset. The robot will set the Wi-Fi SSID and password to initial settings. Thank you for watching. After making programs in the lab, you can install them and even share them with friends. In this video, we will show you how to use DIY programming. Open the RoboMaster app. After you have made a program, go to Lab, then DIY Programming. Tap the three-dot menu icon on the bottom right of the program. You can then set your program as one of three types, General, custom skill or autonomous program. Programs will be saved as general by default. You can edit, debug, run, and share the program. If you set a program as a custom skill, you can tap the custom skills icon to trigger it at any time while in solo or battle mode. If you set as an autonomous program, you can trigger it by pressing the Autonomous Program button on the S1. To stop the program from running, press the Autonomous Program button again. To ensure safety, the S1's speed is limited while running an autonomous program. The S1's maximum translational speed is 1 meter per second, and the maximum rotational speed is 250 degrees per second. Users can customize speed, but if a speed value above the accepted range is set, it will return to the default number. Program Uploading and Sharing You can tap Cloud Backup to upload your program to MyCloud Space. After doing this, you will be able to log into your account using another mobile device and download the programs stored in MyCloud Space. You can even share your programs with others who have the RoboMaster app. Thank you for watching. RoboMaster S1 Tutorial Firmware Update Checking and downloading firmware Before connecting your mobile device to the S1, please ensure your mobile device can connect to the network. Launch the RoboMaster app. The app will automatically check for new firmware updates when connected to the network. If you are using Wi-Fi, the firmware package will be downloaded automatically. If you are using a cellular data network, a prompt will pop up to alert you to any available firmware. Tap Download to enter the download page. Updating the S1 Power on the S1. Make sure the S1's battery level is above 50%, then connect it to your mobile device. After your mobile device is connected to the S1, a prompt will appear on the app alerting you to any available firmware updates. Tap Install. The app will send the firmware package to the S1 and updating will begin. Do not power off the S1 during the update. This process takes about 20 minutes. The S1 will restart automatically during the update. Please check the gimbal armor LED status during the update. Update complete. When the S1 says Update complete and the armor LED blinks blue, the update is complete. You can now reconnect the S1 to your mobile device. You can also go to Settings, System, and Firmware Update menu to update the firmware. Thank you for watching.
hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. RoboMaster S1 Tutorial Follow Mode The RoboMaster S1's Follow Mode allows the S1 to automatically follow a person selected in its field of view. Go to the RoboMaster app's Solo page. Tap the Follow Mode button and the FPV page will display an identification area. Adjust the gimbal so the person being recognized is in the identification area. The S1's optimal range for identifying people is 2 to 5 meters. If people are successfully identified, they will be framed by an orange box. Choose the identified target to lock in. Tap the green square and the S1 will follow the target at a distance of 2 to 5 meters. When the S1 is following someone, you can adjust to make the S1 get closer, farther away, or circle around the target using the app's virtual control sticks. You cannot use the control sticks to make the S1 rotate while in follow mode. Tap the green square again to return to the target locking state. You can then choose your target again. If the target is not in the box, the S1 will automatically exit follow mode. Users will then need to lock on to the target once again. You can tap the red button on the bottom right of the screen to quit follow mode. Now you know how to use follow mode on the RoboMaster S1. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. RoboMaster S1 Tutorial First Time Use Check to ensure all cables are properly connected. Insert a micro SD card into the intelligent controller. Adjust the antennas to make them stand vertically. Install the intelligent battery. Please make sure you have charged the battery before using it for the first time. Press and hold the power button for about two seconds to turn it on. Open the RoboMaster app, sign up for a DJI account, or log in using your existing account if you have one already. Then, follow the instructions to connect the S1 to the RoboMaster app. Activating the RoboMaster S1 Before activating the S1, make sure your mobile device can connect to the internet. Enter the online activation page. Please read the terms of use carefully. During activation, the S1's hardware information needs to be uploaded. After verification is complete, reconnect your mobile device to the S1's Wi-Fi to finish activation. Motor Addressing Lift up the chassis. Start by addressing the chassis's four motors. Then the S1 can move normally. Rotate the right front mechanism wheel manually until the S1 makes a beeping sound. Then, rotate the left front wheel, left rear wheel, and right rear wheel to address the remaining motors. When you're finished, tap the on-screen icons to check whether all mechanism wheels can rotate normally. If the mechanism wheels do not function properly or the addressing is incorrect, please reset and try again. Armor Addressing Next, we'll need to address the S1's armors. This will ensure the armor plates can detect hits. Lightly strike the center of the rear armor plate to begin addressing. If the strike is registered successfully, the LED light will glow solid blue. After that, hit the front armor, left armor, and right armor. Skip the armor if it does not respond to hits. Go to Settings, Robot, and then you will see the current device's status. Tap Solo to enter FPV screen. You can make the S1 move forward, backward, to the left, and right via the virtual joystick on the left side of the screen. The speed and acceleration can be set in the settings control menu. Press and hold any free space on the right side of the FPV page to control the gimbal. 
You can also go to the settings control menu to enable the gimbal gyro control function. Chassis and gimbal sensitivity settings can be customized in the settings control menu. Aim at a target and tap the launch icon to shoot infrared beams. The default firing mode uses infrared beams, but users can change the firing mode to gel beads in the settings control menu. To improve aiming, tap the target icon on the bottom right of the screen. The image shown on the screen will be magnified four times. Tap the video or camera icon to record a video or take a photo. After enabling the S1's voice transmission function, you can listen to real-time audio from the S1's microphone through the app. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. The Robomaster S1 needs to be used with the Robomaster app. You can use the app to control the S1, engage the S1 in single and multiplayer games, and write programs. The Robomaster app is available for iOS, Android, and Windows. In this video, we will show you how to use the Robomaster app. Download the Robomaster app in the App Store or on Google Play or you can scan the QR code in the user guide. Download and install the app. Open the RoboMaster app. Tap the user icon at the top left to set up the player account. Tap the connect button on the top right of the screen to connect the app to the S1 following the instructions provided. The three menu bars on the bottom are Solo, Battle, and Lab. Tap Solo to enter the FPV screen. You can make the S1 move forward, backward, to the left, and to the right via the virtual joystick on the left side of the screen. Press and hold any free space on the right side of the FPV page to control the gimbal. Aim at a target and tap the launch icon to shoot infrared beams. The default firing mode uses infrared beams, but users can change the firing mode to gel beads in the settings control menu. The center of the screen will show the FPV gimbal angle readout and sight. This can help you control the gimbal and improve your aiming. The top right of the screen shows the S1's battery level and Wi-Fi signal strength. Tap the settings icon to go to the settings page. The real-time armor hit point information is shown at the bottom of the screen. Tap the video or camera icon to record a video or take a photo. After enabling the S1's voice transmission function, you can listen to real-time audio from the S1's microphone through the app. The three icons at the bottom right of the screen are Custom Skills icon, Follow Mode icon, and Target icon. Tap the follow mode icon and the S1 will be able to lock onto and follow a person. Tap the custom skills icon to release a custom skill. To improve aiming, tap the target icon and then the image shown on the screen will be magnified four times. Tap the trophy icon at the top left of the screen to enter solo mode. Solo mode includes target practice and target race. Users can hone their skills with shooting practice using this mode. Tap the exit icon to return to the main page. In the battle page, you can battle against other S1s when all S1s are connected to the same router. You can choose from race and free-for-all modes. Tap the exit icon to return to the main page. In the lab page, you can check out Road to Mastery to learn how to program and to explore robotic and AI knowledge. These courses gradually increase in difficulty, allowing users to eventually solve problems with their own unique solutions. In DIY programming, users can program using visual programming language. In Robo Academy, users can check the video tutorials and learn robotic and AI knowledge.
Go back to the main page, then click the settings icon. You can check the S1 status in the robot menu, and you can connect the app to the S1 in the connect menu. In the display menu, you can change the S1's LED color or information shown on the FPV page. 3D quality is used for adjusting the image quality of the S1 model on the main page. In the control menu, you can change the speed, firing mode, control sensitivity, and other settings. In the system menu, you can change the apps and S1's language. You can also address the S1's armor, motor, and calibrate the gimbal and chassis here. Tap the announcements icon at the top right of the settings page to check the release notes. In the media library, you can view the videos and photos you have taken and share them on social media. If you have any questions when using the S1, go to Guide for technical support or contact online support to give your feedback. DJI Support will handle any issue promptly. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. RoboMaster S1 Tutorial Solo Mode Open the RoboMaster app, go to Solo, then tap the icon on the top left of the screen to enter Solo Mode. There are two solo mode options, target practice and target race. Target practice. In target practice mode, players need to hit as many of the designated vision markers as possible before time runs out. The player with the highest score wins. Prepare the vision markers numbered one through five. Place the vision markers in the game area as shown in the video. The marker should be about 2 meters away from the S1. After practice has begun, random targets and a countdown will be shown on the FPV page. Players need to hit all the targets before time runs out. Align the sight with the vision marker. The S1 will identify vision markers automatically. Hits will be registered when players tap the launch button to hit the target. Players will gain 100 points after successfully hitting a target and will pass each level after hitting all the targets. There are five levels in total. As the levels increase, the countdown time becomes shorter and players need to shoot more targets during the allotted time. You can set the S1 and only rotate the gimbal and chassis to hone your firing skills in practice. The score will be shown after the game is finished. The ranking is listed based on score. Players can continue to practice and update their record with improved scores. Multiple users can play on one S1 and mobile device with individual player names. Target Race This mode tests a player's ability to control the S1. Players need to arrive at the vision marker's position as soon as possible and strike down the markers. Prepare the vision markers numbered 1 through 5. As shown in the video, place the vision markers in the gameplay area to complete racetrack setup. Before starting the race, you can change the firing mode and vision marker settings. If the firing mode is infrared beam, then players need to hit all virtual markers. If the firing mode is gel beads, then players need to strike down the vision markers. After the race starts, the targets and time will be shown on the top of the screen players need to strike down all the targets as soon as possible. After a target has been struck down, its number and the strike time will be shown on the right side of the screen. The race finishes after all targets have been struck down. After the race is over, the elapsed time will be shown on the list. The less time the player spent, the higher the player ranking. Multiple users can play on one S1 and mobile device in turns to compete for the highest ranking. Players can arrange the racetrack and write a program to fire while racing. Set the program as custom skill and then trigger it so that the S1 can perform the task automatically. 
Now, you know how to use the RoboMaster S1 in solo mode. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching. In this video, we'll show you how to make your own programs using Scratch. This is fun and easy, thanks to the RoboMaster app's simplified drag-and-drop programming blocks. Open the RoboMaster app. Go to Lab, then DIY Programming. Create a new program. You will see numerous blocks available on the left side of your screen. Simply drag a block into the programming area to perform the command. Blocks must be placed in the Start block, otherwise the command will not be performed. Tap and hold the block. Choose Duplicate to copy it. Tap and hold the block. Choose Delete block to delete it or drag the block to the trash bin on the left side of your screen. After editing, tap the Run button to run your program. You can also open the FPV screen to check the environment and operating performance. Here, you can find more specific information about the S1 status and variables. Tap the icon and you can see the programming block's corresponding Python program. Visual Programming Operation Let's take Twister as an example to show how to program with Scratch. In Twister, the S1 chassis and gimbal rotate in opposite directions while the blaster launches gel beads. In order to make the chassis and gimbal move in different directions, first we need to set the travel mode. Choose the Set Travel Mode block under the System category and drag it into the Start block. Choose Free as the travel mode. Then, adjust or set the chassis, gimbal, and blaster settings. Choose Set the Chassis Rotation Speed block from the Chassis category and drag it into the Start block. Tap the Rotation Speed block and then set the Rotation Speed to 120 degrees per second. Choose the Gimbal Rotation Speed block under the Gimbal category and drag it inside the Start block. Tap the Rotation block and then set the rotation speed to 120 degrees per second. Choose the number of beads and full auto blocks and drag them into the start block. Set the number of beads per launch to 8. To ensure the S1 can continue twisting, choose the Always block under the Commands category and drag it below the gimbal and chassis blocks. Then, set up the Always block to make the chassis and gimbal rotate in different directions. Choose the Gimbal Rotate block and drag it to an empty space in the programming area. Set the direction to right. Choose the Chassis Rotation Duration block from the Chassis category. Set the direction to left and the duration to 0.2 seconds. Tap and hold the block and then duplicate it. Move the duplicated block under the original one. Set the duplicated block's direction to the opposite of the original block. Move the four blocks together into the Always block. After the above steps are completed, the chassis and gimbal should move in opposite directions continuously when you run the program. Before running the program, you can turn on the FPV screen on the top right of the page to check your surroundings. Make sure no one is in front of the blaster. Tap the Run button and the S1 will perform the action. To stop the program, just tap the Stop button. Tap the exit icon to exit. Tap yes to save the project. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching.